If you accept a limiting belief, then it will become a truth for you. The thoughts we choose to think are the tools we use to paint the canvas of our lives. I do not fix problems. I fix my thinking, then problems fix themselves. Every thought we think is creating our future. Love is the great miracle cure. Loving ourselves works miracles in our lives. I am in the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing. You have the power to heal your life, and you need to know that. We think so often that we are helpless, but we're not. We always have the power of our minds. Claim and consciously use your power. Love who and what you are and what you do. Laugh at yourself and at life, and nothing can touch you. It's all temporary anyway. Next lifetime you will do it differently anyway. So why not do it differently right now? In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole and complete. I no longer choose to believe in old limitations and lack. I now choose to begin to see myself as the universe sees me, perfect, whole and complete. Deep at the center of my being, there is an infinite well of love. Remember, you have been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. Your unique creative talents and abilities are flowing through you and are being expressed in deeply satisfying ways. Your creativity is always in demand. When we create peace and harmony and balance in our minds, we will find it in our lives. Forgiveness is for yourself because it frees you. It lets you out of that prison you put yourself in. Remember, in the vast infinity of life, all is perfect, whole, and complete, and so are you. We learn our belief systems as very little children, and then we move through life creating experiences to match our beliefs. Look back in your own life and notice how often you have gone through the same experience. If your mother did not know how to love herself, or your father did not know how to love himself, then it would be impossible for them to teach you to love yourself. If we are willing to do the mental work, almost anything can be healed. It seems to me that everyone on this planet whom I know or have worked with is suffering from self-hatred and guilt to one degree or another. The more self-hatred and guilt we have, the less our lives work. The less self-hatred and guilt we have, the better our lives work on all levels. The past has no power over us. It doesn't matter how long we have had a negative pattern. The point of power is in the present moment. What a wonderful thing to realize. We can begin to be free in this moment. If I want to be accepted as I am, then I need to be willing to accept others as they are. When there is a problem, there is not something to do, there is something to know. Every experience is a success. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. I no longer choose to believe in old limitations and lack. If a thought or belief does not serve you, let it go. There is no written law that says that because you once believed something, you have to continue to believe it forever. I forgive you for not being the way I wanted you to be. I forgive you and I set you free. This affirmation sets us free. When we want to change a condition, we need to say so. I am willing to release the pattern within me that is creating this condition. You can say this to yourself over and over every time you think of your illness or problem. The minute you say it, you are stepping out of the victim class. You are no longer helpless. You are acknowledging your own power. You are saying, I am beginning to understand that I created this. I now take my own power back. I am going to release this old idea and let it go. Blame is useless. Blaming only gives away our power. Keep your power. Without power, we cannot make changes. The helpless victim cannot see a way out. One of the first affirmations to use is, I am willing to release the need for the resistance, or the headache, or the constipation, or the excess weight, or the lack of money or whatever. Say, I am willing to release the need for. If you are resisting at this point, then your other affirmations cannot work. 
Love who and what you are and what you do. Laugh at yourself and at life, and nothing can touch you. It's all temporary anyway. Next lifetime you will do it differently anyway. So why not do it differently right now? Loving the self to me begins with never ever criticizing ourselves for anything. Criticism locks us into the very pattern we are trying to change. Understanding and being gentle with ourselves helps us to move out of it. Remember, you have been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. Would you really dig into yesterday's garbage to make tonight's meal? Do you dig into old mental garbage to create tomorrow's experiences? If a thought or belief does not serve you, let it go. There is no written law that says that because you once believed something, you have to continue to believe it forever. Love is everywhere, and I am loving and lovable, and to hold on to that new affirmation and to repeat it often, then it will become true for me. Now, loving people will come into my life, the people already in my life will become more loving to me, and I will find myself easily expressing love to others. Self-approval and self-acceptance in the now are the main keys to positive changes in every area of our lives. If we want a joyous life, we must think joyous thoughts. If we want a prosperous life, we must think prosperous thoughts. If we want a loving life, we must think loving thoughts. Whatever we send out mentally or verbally will come back to us in like form. The past has no power over us. It doesn't matter how long we have had a negative pattern. The point of power is in the present moment. What a wonderful thing to realize. We can begin to be free in this moment. Now you can release every negative thoughts and start to shift your reality in the way that bring you infinite joy and fulfillment. I wish you understand your value and know that you belong here by divine right. Be happy. You deserve it.